you ever looked around the Windscribe app and thought to yourself, what exactly is split tunneling and how does it work? Well, if so, you've come to the right place. Split tunneling is the ability to decide which specific internet traffic goes through Windscribe and which doesn't. Normally, when you connect to Windscribe, all of your internet traffic goes through the VPN tunnel to our servers and out to the internet. However, you might not want this for every app or website, so by using split tunneling, you can actually select which apps, domains, and IPs you want to use the VPN tunnel and which ones to use your regular connection. For example, let's say you didn't want Chrome traffic going through the VPN, but you still want everything else to. No problem, just add your Chrome browser to the split tunnel list, and every time it communicates with the internet, it'll do so over your own personal IP, completely bypassing the VPN. We call this method exclusive split tunneling meaning it excludes whichever apps you choose from using the VPN. The opposite of this is called inclusive split tunneling, which, you guessed it, allows you to include apps for the tunnel while everything else stays out and uses your regular internet connection. Enabling split tunneling is super simple and only takes a few steps. First, open up Windscribe on your computer, click on the Preferences menu up here, followed by this Connection submenu here, and select Split Tunneling. From here, flip that split tunneling switch, and then select which mode you want to use, exclusive or inclusive. Then, most importantly, select whichever apps, hostnames, and IPs you want to add to your split tunneling list. There are actually a couple of ways to add items to split tunneling. If you hit the search icon here, you'll see a list of all your recently opened applications. If the app you're looking for is in there, click on it, and Winscribe will add it to split tunneling. If, however, you want to add an application that you haven't opened recently or isn't on this list, just hit the plus sign here, and navigate to the installation directory of the specific app you want to add. You'll typically find them in one of these Program Files folders. Once you've found it, just select the .exe file of the program, and Winscribe will add it to split tunneling. If you want to add domains or IPs to the split tunnel list, all you got to do is type them in here, and press the plus sign to add them. You'll know split tunneling is up and running when you see this icon up here. And if you ever want to remove an app, domain, or IP from the split tunneling list, just hit the trash icon next to the one you want to remove. And that's all there is to it. Now get out there and split those tunnels, brave split tunneler. My name's Gary, and I'll see you next time.